3 lakh rupees worth is what I've been told but I'll be getting the real value for this fantastic 3D printing machine. This is really amazing because when we saw it for the first time, this was in a building stage. Now it is completely built, it is ready and it is printing a lot of uh, 3D stuffs along and to talk more on that on our official YouTube channel on Presence University, we have the faculty coordinator of uh, Vikasana, I should be saying. I very well know her as the faculty coordinator for the hiking and trekking club also. Priyanka ma'am, please do come in. Asin professor of uh, mechanical. Uh, with hiking and trekking, what do you think so this is basically a technology that I was into because this is much more relevant to industry 4.0 that we are talking right now. So when we talk about industry 4.0, we talk about cyber security, we talk about big data, we talk about AI. Yes. Of course, additive manufacturing is one of the bit of uh, industry 4.0 that we call upon. And when you talk about additive manufacturing, there are met many methods that come into picture and 3D printer is one of the example of that by product or you could say and in that we have this machine which we got installed somewhere around one year yes. time and it is pretty well working so yeah. this is basically a technology which we call it as fused deposition modeling okay. so when you talk about 3d printer there are many many methods that come in like stereo lithography we have then we have powder bed technology we have liquid polymers we have powder polymers yeah. the one which we are using here is a wire polymer which you can see there up which is loaded so that is why we call it as a fused filament method also or fused deposition modeling also so this was bought one year before with the seed money that we got grant from the university and it has been utilized for several uh, student projects that are going across presently the one that has been printing is for the vikasana project which is going to be for the robocon 2022 where we are going to participate with our student coordinator. So we have a student coordinator here. Yes, and, and I know uh, uh, Kunal has been really fantastic in doing the uh, all the Robocon 2021 that we actually covered the the arrow throwing, uh, I should be calling, right? It's arrow throwing, correct? Yeah. Yes. Uh, now 24th. Yeah, A24. Yeah, All India ranking was on 24th lines, but again, he was saying in that uh, previous video also, if you look at our channel, he was targeting Robocon 2022 and nothing more better than the 3D printer itself. We also have uh, Sybil, the most decent guy in Vikasana. Is it Sybil? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> then I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, ma'am, the cost of this. Yes, to Nijwaglu. Yeah, this was costed somewhere around 2,86,000 with GST all across right, right, it coming right. around 3 lakh rupees. Right, right. The build of this is like, I have a circumference. This is called as a de delta technology, okay. where we have the bed in a circular uh, circumference, which okay. is of a 350 mm. Okay. And the height that I could print is 450 mm. Okay. So that is the build capacity of this particular machine. And it can print somewhere around 14 different materials. Uh, listing some of them is PLA. We have presently the one which has been printed is the PET G. Okay. We call it as, then we have ABS, then we have TPU. Okay. So several, and the combination of these PLA with carbon fibers, the wood material, the other ceramics that are combined together. So basically we are printing 13, 14 products, 14 different materials right now. Right. However, we can, expect, uh, we can experience or we can try it out with some other different materials that could come up with. Fantastic. And, and also something on the lines of, um, you know, I should be telling uh, Kunal also to be talking on these lines. In the real life scenario, Kunal, like how is it, how is it going to help somebody who's going to set up an industry or something like that? And also, you know, it's going to be uh, a really an industry yeah. path breaking uh, innovation, probably I should be saying, or your efforts, I should be saying. So in real life, how is it getting used? Sir, so like for rapid prototyping, we'll need a 3D printer. Instead of going to the final product and first, we can build a smaller version. Yeah. Like we also build project there, which is smaller version of the uh, final autonomous vehicle. Right. So that helps us understand what all failures we might approach in the future. Right. Then other thing is it is being even used in biomedical uh, appliances right oh. now. So like that, they are developing the industry using 3D printer. I mean to say, the say for example, the flask, the thermometers, the design of it, on those lines it's been used? Yes. Sir. If you're saying biomedical equipments? Like biomedical equipments, like a few people are printing hearts right now with 3D printers. Oh. So like it is on the uh, lower level now, but they are trying to uh, make more research on it. Fantastic, fantastic. How are they planned for Robocon 2022? 
Robocon 2022, this time we have a very, very ideal concept, which we call it as uh, one of our national game. We call it as a, we have a Lagori competition happening around this time. So the students are really preparing well. They have already done with the throwing technology of yes, kinematics yes. of those particular things. And now presently we are printing out with the hinges to make a base ready for them. Right. So we are hoping, we are keeping our fingers crossed and we are hoping to get through this time for yes. Robocon 2022. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. I should be even saying, uh, Sibyl, try targeting about uh, All India Ranking 24. Top 10. Top 10, Top 10 not winning. <laughs> Top 10 is like... Uh, it's next to winning only top ten. Right, right, right. So uh, we are uh, planning to uh, air, um, we are planning to get top ten okay. this time, okay. and yeah, we may even get top air one. This Fantastic! That should be the target. Lovely. But also, I wrote Chanak throw more than I know equipment now. Of course, that that's a fantastic innovation. Lagori and the other mamo. So how was how you prepared? You played Lagori in life? Ah, uh, anything. <laughs> How is the machine going to participate in that? Lagori, we have already uh, like built the throwing mechanism. So, uh, like now we are upgrading it. We have done the smaller testings on MathLab on how much uh, like rotations do we need to throw the ball and all those things. So slowly we are uh, like going forward with the event this year. So this time, uh, Pakka, it's like top Air 10 or uh, Air 1. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. He's prepared. After I asked Sibyl, he's prepared. Yeah, <laughs> he's totally yeah, definitely prepared. going to hit for yes, that. Yes. We are trying. He wanted to play Lagori Life. Have you played it? Yeah, yeah. I have. I have. So been uh, where are you basically from? Where are you basically from? I'm basically from Bijapur, which is the northern part of Karnataka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completed my whole of my education there, but I have been working here since three and a half years. Right, right. And one more thing that to add up yeah, is yeah. this is not only for the Robocon or the projects that yeah. we are going. This is also being used for SAE projects where we are going with Society of Automotive Engineers. Right. So where we are preparing the buggies for Baha or for Supra or for Reeve. So what is happening oh. here is the fabrication is completely made on metallic which is actually increasing the weight of the whole of the buggy. Okay. So we are coming with some kind of an alteration where we can replace some of the metal parts with the 3D printed polymer objects okay. so that we can look on for the reduction of the weight of total buggy. Okay. So that is what we are planning across and the project is under the process. So let's see how it goes. Fantastic. Buggy for people who kind of don't know, it's, it's, like, a, it's like an electric vehicle which carries people along, which ferries people along in a in a closed environment or a circle uh, where, where it can travel to one minimum distance. So that is basically it's, it's an electric vehicle and of course all those batteries and everything will be heavy and you are uh, trying to replace those heavy parts. Some, some basic some aesthetic, parts. aesthetic yeah. parts where actually huge amount yeah. of load is not applied or which is not undergoing a sudden brake applications. Right. So those parts can be replaced with a 3D printer with this particular technology what we are having. Right. Of course we have an upgraded technology with 3D printer which we call it as metal 3D printing. Right. If you are going across with that definitely we are going to reduce huge part of the metal fabrication that we are doing and uh, definitely our go buggy will going to be a light weighted buggy oh, fantastic and of course all the efforts and and you know uh, all the all the energy also little bit comes from dr ramesh sir also i should be talking about him also because he is the man behind uh, where uh, nakul keeps serving him lot of coffees and he makes sure everything is approved and he gets it with with all the coffees that he serves but ramesh sir bagay how many years have been yeah, working with uh, see i have i have been knowing sir since 3 years since the day i have joined here. He is a fantastic person at that age. He is having high of energy, always pushing people to do some kind of uh, output that can they can get out. Yeah. He is a person who is building the capacity of the person here, yeah. maybe a faculty, maybe a student. Yeah. So he is literally the backbone of our uh, innovation center that are we are running and he is responsible for uh, purchasing all of these machines and the facilities that do we have. Uh, so he's playing a very, very major role in pushing us. 100% and, and no wonder that he's been the, you know, 2.2% uh, or the rather 2% of the whole world where Stanford University is, right. of course, gone and uh, honored him. Yes. And of course, you know what, he also gives a lot of, uh, uh, you know, challenge to youngsters in dressing sense also. Correct, correct, <laughs> Many correct. times with his looks and with his, with his way of, uh, you know, energy. He creates an aura. Yeah, I mean, he has that aura, yeah. he builds that aura and he makes yeah. people around him. Yeah. 
to go with that aura actually. and uh, that energizes the people you know actually and, and the way i mean i mean ma'am ma was saying like uh, you know so experienced so it's nothing the, the the way he speaks to us and he's like a friend he uh, gels yeah. with he gels with everyone yeah. he might be very experienced with with his career and whatever yeah. but whenever he comes to the student he is like a student in a group actually and and the way he speaks in also like you know many was oh yena ba samachara yena boss yen samachara kana yen vishay the way he is so friendly with all yeah. the students it's fantastic that actually yeah. creates a easy path for everyone to communicate correlate exchange the ideas and build up and come up with the new ideas fantastic. that is how it goes super so super. he plays a really a fantastic job as a leader yes. so the leader is the one who plays around with the team and brings Absolutely. the team up that so is that why is that is why such a good product and such a fantastic output yes <laughs> yes, yes yes definitely super thank you so much once again all the best robocon 2022 i'll be coming back to you kunal after the uh, event and also ma'am will will be seeing which number we get in see again i was just joking yeah. but put your better best effort yeah. top 10 top 1 that's that's all secondary participation is important presence university is name going outside is yes. much important so we'll we'll come back with uh, with kunal on that for vikasna's team keep watching more videos on our presence university youtube channel thank you so much ma'am thank, thank, thank you thank you thank you